our phase two is a um, pretty novel approach. We have a double study. We're testing since um, originally this set out to test uh, the Alzheimer's disease. But because our mechanism of action makes us sort of think that our drug can also treat Parkinson's disease as well as um, a few others. So we tested in both Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So in Alzheimer's, we tested one dose, which is ABMIG. The reason we start with ABMIG is because that is the highest safe dose in humans. So we tested that um, in Parkinson's disease, we find that it re reduced the ads cog 11 by 4.4 points in a month. Of course, we know that placebo <clears throat> gets better as well. It gets better by 1.1 points. So we still beat placebo by 3.3 um, points. Also, we um, used another um, test, which is called a WASE um, coding test. It's basically a digital single symbol um, substitute test. It's very sensitive to test, you know, your cognitive processing, your motor movement. So in that test, we also find the extremely significant improvement um, after one month of treatment. Of course, this is a small sample population. We only have 14 patients. So we will validate that um, in our upcoming uh, phase two, three studies in Alzheimer's, also testing a few different doses. In Parkinson's disease in our phase 2A, we not only tested ADMIG, we also um, did a dose finding study. We tested a 40 MIG, 20 MIG, 10 MIG, and even 5 MIG um, once a day in patients. So what we find is extremely encouraging. We find that our best doses are actually 10, 20 MIGs. So in these dose um, treatment groups, we improved patients MDSU PDRS part three, which is their modal functions by around five points. And also it improved um, total MDSU PDRS um, scores. Also we tested those patients with uh, the waste coding because they actually can move faster, they can write faster. So all doses performed better than placebo groups. So yeah, we have very, um, that's uh, why we get the green light from FDA to move into phase three for Parkinson's disease. In Parkinson's disease, uh, from our conversation with FDA is they believe that um, we can, we should try one trial in early Parkinson's, one trial in late Parkinson's disease. That's exactly um, what we plan to do. So we are kicking off this first um, pivotal trial in early Parkinson's disease, but we plan to follow up with another one um, that's in more advanced um, Parkinson's disease patients. Similarly, um, that's our thinking about Alzheimer's disease. So we will, um, this is a phase two, three that we are about to kick off is more of a dose finding because we actually believe the maximum uh, efficacy doses is around 10, 20 uh, milligram per day, which is not the dose we have tried um, yet in Alzheimer's disease. So we wanted to do a dose finding. Once we confirmed that, uh, we will kick off two of the um, pivotal trials, again, one in early Alzheimer's, uh, one in late Alzheimer's disease. Yeah.